The main hunting season is about to start, and under tighter COVID rules this year, hunts are meeting in areas away from people, not serving food or drink, and keeping social distancing. It's 15 years since the Hunting Act came into force, and since then there have been over 500 convictions under the Act. But the Countryside Alliance says that fewer than 30 of the offenders were involved with registered hunts. Most of the convictions under the Act were for illegal poaching. As part of our week looking at hunting and game shooting, Sarah Falkingham has been out on an autumn hunt in Cheshire where the younger hounds are trained up. Morning has broken on this large grassy field where I am near Nutsford and under grey leaden skies I've come to the meet of the Cheshire Forest Hunt. To comply with Covid rules everybody has had to book in advance and carry masks and sanitisers. Now, it's not illegal to kill a fox, they can still be shot and snared, but you can't chase them with more than two dogs. The first job of the day here is to lay a trail of fox scent. Uh, My name's uh, Ian Aspinall, I'm with the Cheshire Forest Hunt. We've got three trails to lay today. Put it behind the quad bike, I have a a rag on a a rope and I fasten it to the tow bar. So it's a rag with a scent on it that the hounds will follow. It's not just A to B though, is it? You are just dropping it in various places. Yes, why, make, why is that? I make the hounds work so it doesn't come like boring for them, so they've got that to work for it. Do you, though, put the trail down in areas where you know that there, there's likely to be a fox because of the type of cover there? There's not, there's not a lot of covers in this area, but we just tend to stay away from them. This week now I've been on the, at this actual area four, four times. Um, we haven't seen any foxes and I've been through all different fields and different areas and I haven't come across anything. So hopefully we don't get anything, but we have unwelcome visitors, we have saboteurs, and sometimes they can cause a fox to come out, so they'll be in a cover and we're going one side of it, and if the saboteurs are in the cover, they stop the fox from going going away. Um, but they don't see that. Right, do you need to get going? I do, yeah. Hey. My name's Tom Wright. And I'm a huntsman of the Cheshire Forest Hunt, and today we will be trail hunting. We're not permitted to hunt wild mammals within the, the hunting act. Obviously, there's accidents that happen. I haven't had any, fortunately. So when you say you haven't had any accidents, you mean to say you haven't deliberately pursued any foxes? No, accidents, like genuine accidents. Foxes do live in the countryside, and it is inevitable at some point you're going to bump into one. It just happens. We haven't, fortunately. Um, but if you do, you have to just stop them. Same with a hare or a deer or any any wild mammal. How do you stop the hounds? I use my horn, and then I've got whipper-ins, and essentially we just get to the hounds' heads straight away and stop them. And they will obey the the sound of a horn over the instinct of going for a a mammal? Absolutely, yes. They have hunted a trail for years now, so a mammal, so to speak, is not so much programmed into them the same way it would have been previously. So are you saying you haven't had any kills this season so far? No, absolutely. Good morning, I'm Liz Gorse, uh, one of the Joint Masters of the Cheshire Forest Hunt and I'm also a veterinary surgeon. Our country is what we call tight country, a lot of boundaries of major roads and railway lines and by laying a trail we can dictate where the hounds are running and to keep it safe. I've spoken to people on other hunts and they have privately told me that their hunts aren't always laying trails, particularly on a midweek quiet day when there may not be anybody there watching what they're doing, they just set off. I can't speak for other hunts, but I can tell you we are doing it properly with trails every day. What opposition are you coming up against when you're out and about? I know you're mostly on private land, uh, but that doesn't stop people, does it, following you? No, it doesn't. We have at least three groups of anti-hunt in this area. One group will mainly keep themselves to footpaths and the road, but a lot of the others just follow us regardless. Do you see any backlash on social media? Yes, my veterinary practice got absolutely slated. A lot of pubs that supported us have also been slated on social media. Very bad reviews, just horrible comments. What do you do to to fight back? We try to demonstrate that we are trail laying. We don't get into a slanging match on social media. Sarah Falkingham reporting from Cheshire. The main hunting season is about to start 
And under tighter COVID rules this year, hunts are meeting in areas away from people 